For centuries, they were divided by politics, culture and religion. But Anglo-Irish relations have come a long way since the historic signing of the Good Friday Agreement 20 years ago, bringing peace to Northern Ireland. It's a fragile peace, as political parties struggle to form a power-sharing deal. So we can't be complacent. We have to work to maintain the habit of cooperation. But is Brexit threatening that peace? For 30 years, a violent battle raged between Northern Ireland's Catholics and Protestants. From 1969, 3,600 people lost their lives in a series of bombings and shootings known as the Troubles. We accused the soldiers of shooting indiscriminately into a fleeing crowd. The breakthrough came on April 10, 1998, Good Friday. After 22 months of arduous talks, a peace agreement was finally signed by most of the main parties. It's only on the basis of equality, fairness and respect for our differences that we can begin to heal the deep divisions between our people. The peace dividend saw Northern Ireland prosper, but the local power sharing arrangement often collapsed. Even now, the parties are refusing to work together. And Brexit is complicating matters further. The province didn't vote to leave the European Union. However, as part of the UK, it must go. And this has caused relations between Dublin and London to be at their lowest point in recent times. Ireland will remain part of the EU, so a once invisible border may have to return, threatening a trade relationship worth over $76 billion a year. And despite recent differences, I'm happy to say that the relations between our islands remain strong and the relationship between our governments remain strong also. But will it stay that way? Peace has rekindled the relationship and trade has strengthened it. Yet with ongoing tensions in Northern Ireland and Brexit looming, the bond between the islands is facing challenges not seen in generations.